Hey folks and uh, welcome to another Sunday. Nice to get out on the bike again and uh, good to be back and in uh, full fit health after my bout of uh, illness. It's the Sunday before Christmas. Really happy to uh, get out and uh, we're doing a bit of exploring today. So we're currently heading down towards Glass and Dock and uh, what I'm trying to do is find a section of road that takes me right out to the uh, the beach or the uh, shore to Morecambe Bay and uh, I thought it was a good spot to uh, pop out and uh, fly my drone today so uh, might see a little bit of footage in a minute and uh, I won't be stopping at the burger van down here I'm not sure if it's even open today with it being so near Christmas. So what I've done is I've packed my jet boil and a, uh, a packet uh, cappuccino in my uh, my top box. So I'll crack that open later and show you how easy that is to uh, make a brew. Oh, it is open today. But I won't be stopping. And uh, I'll make my own coffee when I get to uh, to my destination. If I can find the road. So I was coming through Lancaster on the way out just now. I've got a really nice uh, ice skating ring right in front of the town hall now. Uh, which is lovely and they've just put a, a big wheel there as well and there's a few stalls on a weekend Christmas uh, stalls and things quite a nice uh, quite a nice thing to do they did it last year uh, although the big wheel wasn't there last year I'll put a shot of that now as you can see it If you do have kids and uh, they want to go ice skating, I would uh, highly recommend it. It's really good. Uh, they even made it bigger this year, so it's uh, it's perfect. As long as it's not raining, because it is outdoors. But uh, today uh, it's cloudy. Seem to have uh, missed the rain actually. Uh, probably going to rain in about five minutes now. I've said that. Temperature is about eight degrees. And I've got my uh, my trusty RST heated gloves, battery operated, on. Keep my hands nice and warm. And we're just going to head a right down here in Jeremy Lane. Now I've only ever been to this uh, this place where I'm heading once before in the car um, while I was coming back from Fleetwood and uh, I spotted a road going out towards the shore and I thought I'd just take it, see where it goes and uh, it took me out towards a caravan site that was uh, on the shoreline. Why not head out? The sun's trying to creep through and uh, I know the uh, the parachute centre, the Black Knights, I think it is. I saw their plane up before, which is always a good sign. They obviously know what the weather's gonna gonna do, and uh, I'll trust them today. So we're heading along this back lane, as you can see. And uh, to my right is the uh, the bay, and the mountains on the left, just there. Okay, so I think we turn right here. Yep, this was the road. Nice little house here for sale. Mm. It's got an aviary in the garden there, and uh, I 
definitely remember that, so I'm definitely on the right route today. I must say, with this cold weather, and uh, we've been having uh, a lot of rain day in, day out, a lot of frost actually last week, and uh, a little bit of snow when I was out last weekend. It's just been nice to uh, to get over the hump of February, get into March again. I know I'm wishing time away, but uh, it'd be nice to get some dry roads again. But I can't complain. Weather's good today, and. Uh, I'm out on the bike and uh, whenever I'm out on the bike I'm always happy so I uh, need to spend more time on the bike and obviously in uh, 2020 do a lot of a uh, lot more riding and I desperately want to get back into Europe to do some tours so I'm hoping to uh, to get out with my cousin in the summer and do some good trips so the only downside of uh, making your own brews when you get to your destination is you've no, uh, no nice bacon bun but I suppose you could always uh, bring one with you and a bit of a picnic but uh, I had a bacon bun at home this morning my lovely wife brought me one in bed which was a first for a long time I uh, wonder what she's after for Christmas not the biggest of roads, uh, it's a bit single track just here and uh, we're going to go left just here another road there taking us somewhere but uh, we're going to head with a signpost for the caravan site so literally just where that farm is you see on the hill there the other side of that is the, uh, the sea And that's where we're going. And there's a bit of a uh, like a castle mount over there. I wonder what that is. Just to the right of the farm. Now also there's a walkway. Um, you can see some people on the on the hill just there. Literally the other side is the sea. So there's a walkway right the way down to here from Lancaster and that takes you via glass and dock and all the way down not sure how far it goes uh, somebody's turning around here or has they gone as far as he wants I think the road does come to a, uh, a dead end further up just around here and all you've got here is a, uh, a farm and a caravan site so nothing too special but uh, I thought it might be a nice place to get the drone up and, uh, and have a brew while I'm out here so this is Cockerham Sands Country Park just here And there she is, the sea's out today. Nice, I bet you get a nice sunset from here in the evening. So there's a caravan site just down there. And uh, public footpaths. There's the people that are walking or come across that, uh, that wall just over there. So, let's uh, show you what got in the top box, and uh, get the kettle on, and then we'll get the drone up. So, what we've got in here is one uh, mug inside. You can see, there you go, I've got a couple of sachets of uh, cappuccino. Instant cappuccino. I've got my jet boil, and this is what we're going to um, make a... Uh, some hot water from, um, so everything's in here, gas canister, the lot, um, I've got my drone, it's got my DJI Mavic Air just here, in its case, I've got my remote control in another case, just here, all nice and neat, nice and small, 
got a bottle of water. Obviously, we need something for a brew and a uh, tire inflation kit and a tripod. So that's about it. So let's get a kettle on. Um, so the jet boil. Um, what we do with this is we'll take the bottom off and uh, and the top, and then inside you can see we've got a gas canister. Take the top of that off, and uh, basically inside you have the, uh, the top that goes on the gas canister. That'll just screw on, hopefully. There we go. That screws on like so. That's the burner. And then also we've got a foot that goes on the bottom of the, the gas canister. Just clips on like so. And then the, uh, the top goes on like so. Put your water in there, boil up your water. So I'm going to put some water in here. Just enough that I need. And then I'll boil that up in the jet boil. So, take that off there. Wait for that to boil up. And in the meantime, I'll put my sachet in here. So I'm going to wait for that to heat up. Um, I'm not going to boil it because I don't like my coffee too hot. And uh, drink it just here. Here's those people now walking around the pathway. And then uh, after I'll get my drone up. So as you can imagine, it's uh, colder, stood still, and uh, with no gloves on. So I'm happy to get my uh, my gloves back on. But uh, yeah, so what a nice little place, Cockerham Sands County Park. So the uh, the tide, when it does come in, comes all the way up here, and uh, makes it super nice. And uh, I don't know if you can see just in the distance there. There's some kind of big ship out in the distance. But, uh, yeah, definitely worth a, uh, if you're into walking, a uh, public footpath that comes all the way from Lancaster, uh, past Glass and Dock and down to this area. Uh, but now I'm cold and uh, I'm going to head back. So uh, let's get this uh, MT-10 started. Oh, 
Like I say, a bit out in the middle of nowhere, but uh, if you bring a flask of coffee, you could also, instead of a jet boil, and uh, some sandwiches. Uh, be quite nice there in summer, I think, if you're down this way. In the distance there, we've got Heesham Power Station. Not the best site or thing to be looking at, but and I can see in the distance now we've got some uh, some rain coming in. So I think that's me for today. Just uh, head back towards Lancaster. What I also have just purchased is a uh, collapsible fishing rod, and uh, I plan to get out on the bike. It's actually small enough to go in the top box, and uh, it just basically, uh, like a car aerial, just retracts down to about a foot long, comes with a reel and uh, everything you need, and uh, I'll also put a link in the uh, description below on that that you can take a look. You can bought it off Amazon. It's quite a nifty little thing. I haven't used it yet, but uh, from the reviews that people uh, have been putting up about these things, uh, they're, they're quite good, and uh, people are catching stuff on them. So uh, I used to like fishing. I think uh, the bike would uh, lend itself towards that as well. So I think in uh, some warmer weather, when we get it next year, I, uh, I just might get out on the bike and do a bit of fishing. And also, uh, I did buy it for when we uh, when we go abroad, so I can just pop it in the suitcase. You know, when we're out at sea, or if we hire a boat when we're in uh, in the med, then uh, we can do a bit of fishing off the boat as well. So that'll be great. Lots of walkers out here. But they're finding it a bit cold without any gloves on. I know my hands were freezing by the time I'd finished flying the drone. I should have kept my gloves on. If there's one thing I can't do without in winter, and that's these heaty gloves. Again, there's a uh, link in the description below to all of my gear. And uh, if you are after a pair of heaty gloves, then uh, I do highly recommend the the RST ones, uh, these ones are actually uh, older, you can still pick them up though, uh, but I think the new ones are called Paragon gloves, they're just revised a little bit. I know at the motorcycle uh, live show they were selling uh, the RST Paragon gloves off, and uh, I think you could pick them up for about 140 you probably get them similar online, normally they're about £179, but they do come with a a set of batteries and uh, they last about four hours and they keep your hands nice and warm so best buy I ever made really so I hope you're all ready for Christmas and uh, all prepared got all your presents uh, set or put your order into Santa yeah I wish you all a, uh, a good one uh, there won't be another video now until uh, after Christmas so uh, I wish you all the best guys and girls. Yeah, here's to a good Christmas and a uh, happy new year to everyone. Catch you on another video. Take care.